Hey guys, so one of the most favorite things that I like to do is snorkel. Swim in the ocean, a lot of swimming. I do it snorkeling, kind of diving down a little bit, but I typically spend between, let's say, 45 minutes to an hour and 20 in the water um, each morning when I'm on vacation. Um, maybe even a uh, call it hour and a half two different sessions typically no no more than um, 45 50, 50 minutes or so so here I'm swimming in uh, tropics got my unique swimsuit on got my pretty heavy fins which are I think probably more dive fins but this is what I've always used I like the safety factor of having longer more durable fins uh, maybe not durable, but more more power you can get out of them. The hey guys, before we get into this week's video, what you can do to help me out with this channel is hit that subscribe button. Over 90% of you watch my videos and I'll say thank you, but it really helps me out when you subscribe. So please hit that subscribe button. It helps me grow my channel, helps me get my videos recommended to others. Thank you for your support. Hit that little button down in the corner and hit subscribe. Thank you very much. Now enjoy this video. Give you more power is what I'm trying to say. The shorter, more snorkeling ones are nice, but I tend to swim far. And I just like the safety in the event that there's extra currents or anything like that. Here diving down, there's a lot of pretty neat coral features. Uh, arches underneath the water small caves uh, here you can see there's a little indention in the coral there and this one right here is not too deep um, fairly deep let's call it uh, let's call this 20 feet deep but you gotta look out for uh, sleeping sharks in those areas and here's one of one of the more interesting areas kind of surfacing here I swam to this uh, little black sand beach area didn't get out this time that was my destination my turnaround point let's dive dive down here and uh, I have my own snorkeling gear I bring it with me each time on a trip I've actually been through multiple sets after doing this uh, many years and if you're really going to get into it uh, and again I know it's not really a snorkeling thing so much but wearing boots and getting fins that you can wear boots with is so much better than getting fins that uh, slide on your feet reason being a lot of the places that you snorkel are uh, require you to step on rocks are, are difficult to get in and having the boots on is awesome so underwater arch I don't recommend going through these I try to be minimize all my risk as possible don't do anything foolish and trying to swim underneath there you never know what you're gonna find sleeping in the shadows so here it is again. This spot, even though I don't have a lot of this captured on the camera, but there, there's a, I'll say an acceptable amount of fish. You can see a lot of turtles here. I'll say from going to this location for 20 plus years, there's definitely a reduction in fish, the volume of fish. And which is disappointing. I, I remember getting in years ago and you just would just be instantly surrounded by all types of fish, small, medium-sized fish, occasional large ones. You can see some fish there. Small coral arch. There's plenty of turtles, even though I may not have captured them in this for this video, but if you get in the water, even if you're on the shore and paying attention, you're going to see a turtle. So 
So this is something that I just really love to do. I typically have the, oh, I do have the selfie stick you can see there on my right arm. I'm swimming with my legs and obviously I'm kind of using only my left arm for kind of pulling forward freestyle. And I liked, I just like capturing the video, but you know, I am limiting myself in that uh, I'm, I can't use both my arms to do freestyle swim. So if you're gonna do that, be a strong swimmer, um, know what you're getting into. I like to swim closer to the shore to have always an escape route. If I needed to get out quickly, um, kind of off topic, but if you're getting into snorkeling, don't buy the mask and snorkel face mask where it's all together. Those things are, I'm gonna call them dangerous in my opinion. If you're buying them for your kids, don't do that. They're, you can't hear your kids talk. You know, they're muffled. I don't think you breathe right out of those things. Just learn properly with a normal mask and a detached snorkel recommendations from 20 years of doing it. Just checking, did you hit subscribe yet? Just checking, let me know. And thanks for watching. I hope you like this different video. Of course I wear my unique swimwear. I hope no one's bothered by that. It's just what I like to do. Later.